you had felt. Come on, there's some in here that you have already, you've already crossed over in a certain age group and your mind has crossed over into that area as well. But he's saying, I'm still calling you and if you will come, I will still renew and I will still refresh and I will still plentish and I will still be who you ask me to be. Come on, come on, just step out and worship. Come on, don't just sit there. Come on, let your voice be heard. Let the Holy Ghost fall on you. Come on. This is not just a young people thing. This is not just a teenager thing. Come on. This is not just a pastor thing. But when God called the children of Israel, He called for every single one. And He made provision for every single tribe. God is a big enough God to hold all of us on the mountain. He's asking, will you come? Will you come? Come on, just begin to let your spirit rise. Begin to let your spirit rise. Begin to let your spirit rise to Him. Come on, just begin to let your spirit rise to Him. Oh, Jesus. Come on, He wants to. He wants to refresh you. I'm telling you, He wants to renew you. Peter, James, and John, when they went up there, they were of all different generations. Not one of them was of the same generation. A similitude of what Christ wants to do in America today, that it's not just a young church, and it's not just the old church, but it's a unified church that wants His voice, and wants to be His will, and wants to be His wine, and wants to be His servants, and wants to be His disciples, and wants to be His followers, and wants to be His children. One mind, one accord, one voice, one body, in unity, God. Unify us today, dear Lord. Unify us today, dear Lord. Those that are hungry, fill up. Those that are thirsty, fill up. Those that are hurting, God, heal them. Come on, I dare some of you. Come on, I dare some of you just to step out of your comfort zone. I dare some of you to step out of your comfort zone of what you would do on a normal Sunday morning. I dare you to step out and say, God, if I step out, will you meet me right there? I'm telling you, He will flood your spirit. He will flood your soul. I'm telling you, He will flood your spirit. He will rain on you. He will rain on you blessings. He will rain on you blessings. He will rain on you blessings. He will rain on you revelations. He will rain on you healing. He will rain on you wisdom. He will rain on you power. Oh, let it rain, let it rain. Let it rain, let it rain, Jesus. you right now. Come on, let the Holy Spirit just impregnate you right now. You understand? There's a purpose for the feelings of God. There's a purpose for the emotions of God. It's not just to stimulate you, but it's to impregnate you with something. The enemy will get us hooked on a feel-good feeling. The enemy will get us hooked on wanting to be stimulated. But God is wanting to impregnate us to bring life. It's always about bringing life. It's always about bringing life. First, He may have to bring life into your spirit. But then He wants to impregnate you with the Holy Ghost to bring life to somebody else's spirit. Come on, don't fall in love with just the stimulation. Fall in love with Jesus. Let it be.
want to share with you a thought that sometimes we're crying out, let it rain, let it rain, let it rain. And sometimes God says it is raining, but where you're standing, it's not. And if you know anything about mountains, you can be at one altitude and it'd be dry as a bone. And you can go up just a little bit further and it'll be pouring down rain. I want you to hear this. Because I believe some of you are, are sitting here saying, that's an, that's an awesome idea, let it rain, let it rain. It's, I'm just good here, but I'm telling you, God's wanting some of us to move up the mountain. And when we move up the mountain, we're going to get into that place where it's raining. A lot of times it isn't that we don't want it to rain, it's that we're, we don't want to move. We've got to change places and get into a new atmosphere. And I believe this morning God is all about that He's trying to rain in some lives, but He needs you to move up the mountain. You need to press in just a little bit more. Where you're at isn't going to do it, but you need to move just a little bit further. 